You're listening to Good Morning Winnet, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County, Monday through Wednesday at 10 a.m. and Thursday at 11 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. A little chilly though, I ain't gonna lie, you know, we get them days where it's kind of chilly, then we get them really hot days. Yesterday we had a really rainy day, I think we're supposed to have more rainy day. So right now it's 55 degrees, only going up to a high about 63 with some rain, can't help it, we just got rain. Unless I was supposed to, I was supposed to let you know yesterday that I was going to be here early today and I have totally forgot um, have a meeting, so I got to, you know, got to jump off, but I wanted to make sure I came and brought you all of the news I could bring you in a short period of time, so that's why I'm here a little bit early, so for those of you who are looking for me at 10 o'clock, I'm here at 9 o'clock, sorry about that, guys, but you can still listen to me because it is going to be recorded. Thank you again for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. hope you're staying safe. Oh, I got to tell y'all, I got to tell you, it just, it just keep going and keep going and keep going. But I'm going to get down, get back into that coronavirus in a few minutes. Right now, I want to go ahead and give you your horoscopes brought to you by Nota Lestrade Michael Thyssen. Today is March the 24th, and it is a spring day, but it's a little chilly and a little rainy. But we know it's going to rain. It rains a lot here in Georgia. When I first moved back to Georgia, like I left when I was a little girl. I was like 12 years old. Um, so I couldn't remember like everything that happened, but when I got back, I was like, man, it rains here so freaking much, but it rains a lot. But then in the summertime, it'll rain and then it just clear up like it never rained before. I mean, be hot and dry just like it never rained before. But anyway, let's get on to our horoscopes because I got to run. So I want to make sure I get in as much news as I can. Also give you a horoscope so you'll know what the stars have in store for you today. All right. We're going to kick it off like we always do and that's with Aries. Secret enemies will be eager to spread rumors about you. Residential moves will be in your best interest. Keep important information to yourself. Listen, Aries, keep your business to yourself. If you don't want it out in the open, don't tell nobody. That's the best way to keep your business to yourself. Just don't say nothing. Don't say a word. All right? Taurus, you can make it up to them later. You may find travel to be most rewarding. Older family members will make demands on your time. Listen. Listen, Taurus. Travel may be rewarding, but be careful. Travel safely, like real safe, like really, really safe. All right, it's got this little bug that's flying around. Has no prejudice against anyone. Not anyone. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. Gemini, you can get ahead of your present. You can get ahead if you present your ideas to superiors. Try to concentrate on research and acquiring information that will be of value in your chosen field. Don't let domestic problems interfere with your objectives. Let me tell you something. There's a site called Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y.com. If you have nothing but time on your hands right now, you got some extra time, I would suggest, because this is what I did yesterday. I did the show. I did some website updates. But guess what I did later on in the evening, around 6 o'clock in the evening, I went and I started taking some classes on Udemy. Because there are some things I need to know. Like, I need to understand SEO. Like, really understand SEO because I'm making a shift in my business. So, I really need to understand SEO. So, you know what I did? I went to Udemy and I took an SEO class. Now, it's 17 hours. I ain't going to lie. But I started yesterday. And by the time I come out of that joke, I probably know how to do SEO like a champ. But anyway, take some time to learn some stuff. That's all I'm saying. Take some time to learn some stuff. You got some time on your hand. Just take some time and, and, and learn some new stuff. That's all, Gemini. All right, cancer, overindulgence would mean poor health. Travel should open doors that lead to exciting new adventures. Your mate may not be too sure about your intentions, okay? Listen, don't overindulge. I don't know what you're overindulging in, uh, cancer, but it may it may be, may be bad for your health. It may mean poor health for you. Listen, without our health, we have nothing. Nothing, nothing if you don't have health. Yeah, I just messed it up, but it's all right. Leo, you may end up being blamed if anything goes wrong. <laughs> Look, blame the Leo, right? Blame me. If it's my fault. It ain't your fault, Leo. But anyway, you may wind up being blamed if anything goes wrong. Try not to get involved in other people's problems. Your creative ideas must be put to good use. Listen, stay out of folks' business today. It's their problems. Let them handle it on their own, Leo. You know, just do it. You go somewhere and sit down and be creative. 
put put them creative ideas to good use. Don't try to tell other folks. They not they're not gonna listen to you today. I'm just saying, just saying. Virgo, you may find yourself caught in a triangle. Mm, mm, mm. Make sure that you have all the pertinent pertinent information before any reprisals or making any moves. Uncertain changes regarding your personal life are evident. Listen, I don't know what kind of triangle it is, Virgo. I don't want to know. But listen, don't get in it. Sounds like it could be trouble. Could be one at work. Could be one in the in, on the relationship side. I don't know. Could be your friends arguing. Whatever it is, you don't want to be one, not one part, not one third of that triangle. Keep yourself out of it because it's probably going to be a hot mess. All right, listen, I'm going to some songs. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. Stay tuned. <laughs> back to the good morning with Nets show we're going to pick up our horoscope with libra travel and learning should be your on your agenda today do a little extra work at home you will feel the limitations if you have been overdoing it listen i just said this go to you to me you and they're not paying me they should be they should be paying me but go to you to me udemy.com anything you could possibly want to learn is there there are some amazing instructors there. Now, not all, not all, not all instructors. Are made. Here's how I pick my classes, right? I pick my classes if it's a four or higher. I don't pick. I have not taken any class that's below a four, four stars. I mean, I go to Udemy. I look at the classes, and and, and normally there's people that teach the, uh, the same class, like different people that teach the same subject. I'll look at the stars. Anything four or above, I'll take that class. I don't take anything with a three. Sorry, guys. If you if you you can have a three point nine, I would not take the class. Nope, won't take it. So go to you to me, Libra. If you want to learn something new, just go to you. Listen, you want to learn. I told my daughter this, right? So we were talking. I said, listen, she was telling me about you know she was trying to get um move up in her her career, 
right? She was working at HP, but HP was about to downsize. And I said, well, tell me about what you do. So she does tech support. You know, she works with these mainframes. And so I said to her, well, do you work with Salesforce? She's like, yeah, we, I think we're going to be starting to work with Salesforce. I said, go to Udemy and take a Salesforce certification class, right? She did. did ex- and I said, put that on your resume. As soon as she put it on there, she got some major job offers. Major. Because that people, Salesforce is big. So you need to have that on your resume. BR, I think it's BRM or something she was telling me about. That's big. It should be on your resume. Especially if you're in tech support right now, you need to know how to do. I was out over at Code Ninja um, a couple of weeks ago and I was talking to um, the owner and she was telling me that her friend went for an HR job. Guess what they asked her in the, in the interview? Do you know how to code? She was like, why? She probably was like, why do I need to know how to code to do HR? Because they want people who have multiple disciplines. Like, you need to know other stuff. So don't sit back and think you're going to be marketable if you're not learning. Because you're not. Go over to Udemy and take a Python class. That's the class I'm taking. Like, I'm doing SEO right now. But here's the thing. I'm going to take Python. Why? Because I need to move my business to the next level. So I know what I need to know. Now, I may not be a whole, I may not be doing a whole lot of developing in Python. However, when I started talking to Python developers, because I need them to do some stuff for me, they can't pull the wool, the wool over my eyes because I know how to do it. So you to me, didn't mean to get off on a tangent, but just thought you should know that. All right, Scorpio, you may find it difficult to communicate with someone at work. Business trips would be more productive than trying to fight the red tape facing you. You need to start planning that vacation. Oh, we all need to plan a vacation, but it's kind of crazy right now. But I'm just saying, Scorpio, plan ahead. Don't pay, though. Just just plan. Because you don't know. Listen, hopefully we're in a better place. That's That's a prayer. Sagittarius, you can expect changes in your living arrangements. You are best to listen for the time being. You may be frustrated by the situations by by the way situations are being handled in your personal life. Listen, if you're frustrated, just fix it. You know, it's your life. It's your personal life. Fix it. If the person in the, in your life don't need to be there, get get rid of them. Yep. And just listen. Don't you talk today. You you let somebody else talk. Don't you just listen today, Sagittarius. That's what you're supposed to do today. All right. Capricorn, don't count on others to cover up for your shortcomings. Visitors may be likely to drop by. Develop some of your good ideas. Listen. Don't try to don't don't count on others to cover up for you. Listen, listen, Cap. If you got shortcomings in life, fix it. It could be fixed. But you gotta get out of the self-pity. You can't be sitting there saying, oh, woe is me. Fix it. I'm a solutions person. Like they know when they talk to me, they come to me with a problem. I'm, I don't want to talk about the problem. What's the problem? Okay, let's get to the solution. Because some people just want to talk about the problem for hours. Don't worry about the problem. Find the solution and move forward. I know people hate, some people hate that about me. I don't be want to hear all that. What's the problem? This is a problem. Okay, let's fix it. That's, what, that's just who I am. I'm a solution person. I'm a solutionist. I need, I need to put that on my business card, right? Solutionist. Don't steal it. Aquarius. You can easily impress other with others with your generous nature. You will meet potential new mates through friends or relatives. Social activities should be on your agenda. Yeah, I don't know, Michael, about these social activities right now. Like, you need to, maybe it's, maybe social online. I don't know. You got to keep that distance. What is it called? Social distancing? You got to remember that. Unless it's like in your household where you know everybody's pretty safe. All right, and my fellow fish Pisces. Double check before you go out. Mm. Opportunities for romance will flourish through travel. Use your inventiveness to find solutions. That's what we do. We find solutions. I ain't, listen, I ain't traveling nowhere right now. I don't know about the rest of my fish friends. This fish right here, pretty close home. About as far as I'm going. I know, I know. I got people to protect. You know what I mean? I do. So I can't be out there all willy-nilly all over the place. I got the people to protect. I got folks to protect. All right, listen, so all the horoscopes I got for the day, but I'll be back again on tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Nota Destrouser and Micah Thyssen. Now let's get on to some news you could use. All right, so Lawrenceville, Elville, that's where I am. Oh, 
Lawrenceville and Stone Mountain are two of the 23 spots around Georgia where state officials will conduct remote testing for the coronavirus known as COVID-19. Governor Brian Kemp announced Monday, but not everyone in these areas will be able to get tested at these sites. Mm. The testing priorities at those sites will be given to certain groups such as elderly or healthcare providers. Kemp announced a remote testing location during a 5 p.m. press briefing yesterday. To be tested at one of these locations, you must be have a referral from a medical provider, Kemp said. The tests are limited to elderly Georgians, um, members of the law enforcement community, first responders, longtime care facility residents, and staff, as well as health care workers. Uh, we must protect those who are protecting us, and that is why we have these testing sites in strategic locations around the state. Lawrenceville will be one of them. He did not say what the testing site is going to be in Lawrenceville, and I'm sure that's to, to keep the site from being, from people from like bum rushing the site because they want to get tested. But there is there is going to be one in Lawrenceville and some other parts of Georgia. So other testing areas is going to be Cartersville, Rome, Dalton, Woodstock, Gainesville, Marietta, Atlanta, Morrow, Newton, um, Dublin, Warner Robins, Augusta, Columbus, Valdosta, Tifton, Albany, Douglas, Statesboro, Brunswick, Savannah, and Athens. For more information about where these testing locations are gonna be, well, they don't give the actual location, but if you want to see if your your city or town is on the on the uh, is one of the uh, the places that it, that the testing is gonna be, go to GwinnettDailyPost dot com. They're not giving you out locations, so <clears throat> uh, don't don't go to look for locations. You can just see where is it gonna be in your town. It's gonna be in mine, Elville. It's gonna be in Lawrenceville and Stone Mountain. Um, which is pretty close to us, um, but there's no location. I'm sure that's because they don't want to. They don't want people bum rushing the place. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. So no locations are given, but no those sites up now. Why that's important is that if you have an elderly person that you're living with, and you could possibly have exposed them. That's a good way for them to find out if they were exposed. Now, all right, but they gotta have a, they gotta have a, a referral from a medical professional. So you can't just go anyway. You can't say I'm coughing. I gotta go. It doesn't work that way. This thing is spreading. It's spreading crazy. Yeah. Let me tell you something. We got four state senators test positive for the coronavirus in Georgia. Four state senators. Four state senators, senators including the chairwoman of Georgia Democratic Party, have tested uh, positive for the coronavirus as an un, uh, as the untreatable respiratory disease continues to spread across Georgia with hundreds of confirmed cases. Four state senators. Here they are. First to publicly announce his COVID-19 diagnosis was Senator Brandon Beach. He's a Republican out of Alpharetta. Um, who test results came back positive days after attending a special session of the General Assembly last Monday. His announcement was followed by Senator Kay Kilpatrick, a Republican out of Marietta, who alerted her constituents late Friday night that she has been uh, con- she had contracted the virus. Then Senator Nakima Williams, a Democrat out of Atlanta, said on Facebook Sunday that she was tested positive for the virus. Listen, all right? Woo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Listen, it is not discriminatory. It does not discriminate. Anyone can't contract this virus. Anybody. Not just people over 60, like they keep telling us. Anybody. Anybody, they say, oh, don't worry about it. If you're not over 60 and you don't have a chronic illness, you know, it won't affect anybody, anybody, anybody can contract this disease. It is scary. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got to be safe. People to my, oh, it's, listen, I watched the news yesterday. I was disgusted. Here's why. Here's why I was disgusted. I was disgusted because... Right now, I feel like we are being misled, right? Yes, we understand people need to get back to work. Hell, I need to get back to work, right? But I don't want to lose my life or put the life of my family in jeopardy because I'm trying to rush back to get a paycheck. Because guess what? When I die, there's no paycheck. When you die, there's no paycheck. And you don't, they don't know how to see. They're saying, oh, you know, you got to be elderly for it to affect you. You got to be sickly. What if you don't have to be? Because it keep, like, 
my mom was telling me yesterday that one of the kids that play in the NBA said now he can't smell anything because he has it. It has taken away his sense of smell. When you can't smell nothing, you can't taste anything, right? Okay. So did they know that before then? No. So we don't know how it's going to affect us. So I'm not, you know, go to work and I, th- I think that's so crazy. I heard him say yesterday when I watched that news briefing to that in a, in after the after the mandatory 15 days that he put out there earlier that he was going to open everything back up and people could just go. He pretty much said, we're going to have some casualties and that's just how it's going to be, but we're going to get back to business as usual. We will not be back to business as usual because if people get out there and start spreading it around, how you, how you figure that's going to happen? He was like, if you are exposed, just go to work and put on a mask. Okay, so if you can't even get the N95 mask, right, how you going to do that? Because the other masks don't protect you. Like, that is the dumbest thing ever. Like, I'm not I'm not paying them any attention. Um, I get it, you know. We need to go to work. I get that, too. But you can't work if you're dead. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. Calling you up at two in the morning But you don't want to talk, you don't want to bother yeah. So I took another shot, let my brain do the walking I don't want to be your friend, I want something real Maybe if I stay the night, you could feel the same And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange But I'm not even gonna try if you don't wanna stay So how's it gonna be? You got me on my knee I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure from you Just tear me apart when I know you don't want Fast, you wanna go slowly. Maybe I'm just wasting time. Tell me how you feel. I don't wanna be your friend, I want something real. Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same. And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange. But I'm not even gonna try if you don't wanna stay. So, how's it gonna be? You got me on my knee I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure Welcome back. So the numbers here in Georgia, and I hate to keep talking about this, but I have to. The number here in Georgia is steadily rising. Um, as of yesterday, 13 hours ago, we have confirmed 
800 cases and 26 deaths. 800 cases and 26 deaths. Now, that's big. Um, it, 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 it doesn't discriminate, y'all. Yeah, one additional death confirmed in Georgia since noon yesterday. Um, that was yesterday. So the latest update from the Georgia Department of Public Health at 7 p.m. shows that there are 800 cases of the disease in the state and the number of people who have died stands at 26. There have been 1,245 tests conducted by the state health officials um, with commercial labs have been conducted. Um, commercial labs have conducted another eight, 3,824. People between, people between uh, the age range of 18 to 59 make up the majority, 18 to 59, make up the majority, to be exact, 59%. See, that's what they're talking about. Oh, it's the people over 60, and this is sick people. Yeah, no, it's the people between 18 and 59, and women make up most of those cases. So, um, it's rising. I think yesterday when I reported, I think I was at 600 and something, but right now... It's at 800. Gwinnett has 35 cases reported. 35 in Gwinnett is rising. So just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. Pray and be careful. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Because we just don't know where it is. And that's, that's, that's the sad part. All right. So donations are needed to support Southeast Gwinnett uh, Cooperative Ministry. The Southeast Gwinnett Cooperative Ministry is providing a drive-up food assistance Um on Wednesday between 10, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, and this is going to be at 55 Grayson International Parkway in Grayson. You must show a picture ID and a current piece of mail to know. We want to make sure that you are in Gwinnett County. The co-op is providing financial assistance for utility and prescription costs, qualifying candidates um, from 10 a.m. 10 a.m. today to 2 p.m. today and Thursday. So Wednesday is going to be the food, um, the food pickup. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Wednesdays. And then today and Thursday, they want to give you financial assistance uh, for prescriptions and utilities. Again, that's going to be located at 55 Grayson International Parkway in Grayson. You must show a picture ID and a current piece of mail. Donations for the food pantry can be made by uh, made at the following locations. South Gwinnett Co-op, regular drop-off times, 55 Grayson International Parkway in Grayson. Grace New Hope Church, located at 1766 New Hope Road in Lawrenceville. Grayson United Methodist Church, located at 555 Grayson Parkway in Grayson. 12 Stone Church in Snellville, located at 1709 Scenic Highway in Snellville. Snellville First Baptist, located at 2400 Main Street East in Snellville. Grayson City Hall, located at 475 Grayson Parkway in Grayson. Snellville City Hall, located at 2342 Oak Road Southwest in Snellville. If you want to make a donation, you can go there. For more information about how to participate or to make a donation, go to www.seg, S-E Gwinnett Co-op, Southeast Gwinnett Co-op, S-E Gwinnett Co-op.org. Or just drop by 5555 Grayson Industrial Parkway, Ness and Grayson. Your help is needed. So go ahead and do that. If you need assistance, you can go to those locations as well. For more information about that information, because I know I read it kind of quickly, you can go to AJC.com and click on Gwinnett County under counties. Um, In response to the uh, coronavirus, Gwinnett bans outdoor burning until October. Gwinnett County is starting its its burn ban early to avoid unnecessary emergency calls during the coronavirus pandemic. The burn ban is usually in effect from May to the end of September, but but the Gwinnett Fire, uh, Gwinnett Fire Marshal's office, office said on Monday the ban will begin at 10 p.m. Yep, more than one month ahead of schedule. The move um, seeks to limit 911 calls for outdoor burning that could it could be avoided. Because, listen, they already overtaxed, so they don't need you burning stuff and getting into more trouble when they're trying to fight this freaking pandemic. So, yeah, so now it's a burn ordinance in place. You cannot burn No, you can't. Campfires and barbecues are still allowed, though charcoal, wood, or gas on combustible balconies or within 10 feet of a combustible construction is prohibited. So do not do things that you're not supposed to do. You can use it. You can barbecue. You can also do campfires. 
But don't be doing it where it's going to catch on, could catch on fire. That's all they're saying. That's a bad thing. That is a bad thing. All right, let's talk about some good news. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm just full of bad news. I know, right? Duncan Creek Elementary uh, has a parade to list students' um, spirits. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. The second week of digital learning, Gwinnett County brought cold rain. Yesterday was cold rain. But some Duncan Creek Elementary School staff tried to help lift students' spirits with a social, socially safe gesture. The, that is so nice. The Duncan Creek Elementary staff participated in a voluntary parade of cars through the Trilogy Park uh, the subdivision at 10 a.m. yesterday morning. The Trilogy Park is in Hushton, is the largest subdivision in the school's attendance zone. The subdivision publicized the parade on social media on Sunday. The staff who participated were advised to stay in their cars to, to, eliminate, to limit contact and proximity to other staff and students and wore Duncan Creek spirited wear. Duncan Creek is a school in um, Mill Creek Cluster. That's so nice. They had more than 50 staff members participate in this parade. And it progressed through through the neighborhood for about an hour. They Anything. Because the kids, the kids don't really understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of understand. You know, first they probably was like, yeah, we don't have to go to school. But right now, they're probably, they're probably missing their friends. You know what I mean? Like, they're probably missing their friends right now. Because they're used to going to school. Now, if, you, if they're homeschooled, they probably don't. But the ones that go to school, they probably are missing their friends right now. All right, Buford stays within the school district to hire a school um, high school principal. Yep. While the district and school staff um, have worked from home since March 16, Buford City School announced a current employee as a high school as a high school next principal. Teresa Hagel- Hagelthorne was hired as a principal of Buford Middle School in 2019. And was announced as as Buford High School next principal after the Board of Education legislative session on Monday. Through my experience, I believe building positive relationships with students, parents, and staff members is critical to fostering student growth, character development, and academic success, Hagathorne said in a statement issued by the Buford City Schools. The opportunity to serve as BMS community uh, for the last year was an experience that shaped me and one I will always treasure. One of the best parts of this new role is knowing I will get four more years with BMS students. So she started out in the elementary school. Now she's going over to the high school. Congratulations to Teresa for your promotion up the ladder, girl. Keep it going. Soon you'll be back in you'll be back in the classroom. Well, you won't be in the classroom. You'll be in the office. All right. So Women in Technology is hosting a workshop today at 1 p.m. Now listen, it's on the calendar. I don't know if it's still going on, but it's on the calendar. March the 24th, that's the day, at Georgia Gwinnett College. I don't even know if the college is open. In Building E, it says, WIT Campus and UPS Resume Workshop. Listen, go over and email them at witcampus at mywit.org. That's W-I-T Campus at mywit.org. Email them. Don't go there and say, the lady said y'all was having class. Email them to make sure that that class is still going on. Because I know a lot of the, the universities are closed. It's saying it's going to be there today. Um, and I see the calendar. One part of the calendar say 1 to 3, 1 to 4. And then the other part of the calendar say 3 p.m. I would just double check. If you are a woman in technology trying to put your resume together because you want another tech job and you think this is going to help you, just go to call with, email with, and make sure that, you know, that it's still going on. That's all I'm saying. All right, listen, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go to my last song, and then I'm going to come back for my word of inspiration. Then I'm out. I'll be back right after this next song. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. Stay tuned.
I got for you today, but I'll be back again tomorrow. But before I go, I want to give you a word of inspiration to help you keep moving through the day. And here it is. Pretty simple. One act of kindness can make all the difference. Let me just say that one more time. One act of kindness can make all the difference. I don't need to expound on that anymore. Just be kind to somebody today. Thank you again for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 41 minutes with me, and I appreciate you so much. If you missed any episode of this show, go to goodmorningwithnet.com to listen to past episodes. Also, subscribe to the show when you get over there. Click on the button, subscribe. Download the app to your phone. Share the show with your friends. Follow me on Facebook at Good Morning with Net, on Twitter at GM Gwinnett, and on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow the show. Share the show. I got the same goal I had last year, a million subscribers or a com- a downloads or a combination of both. My same, my same goal. I didn't hit it last year, but I'm going to hit it this year. That's why I'm doing that SEO thing. But anyway, thank you again for listening. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m., God willing, and I appreciate you so much. And until next time, y'all, be kind to somebody. Show somebody some kindness today and make it a great day. Bye now. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you missed an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you liked this episode, subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit www.noisemedia.us.